Today, we're going over the top 10 squonkers as of February 2019. The mods that we're going to go over today, they're in no particular order, but I did break them up into the following subcategories. We're going to be going over single cell regulated, dual cell regulated, and unregulated mods. So let's get started. In the single cell regulated category, we have the Dovpo Topside. Now you guys know I've had my issues with Dovpo and their Topside mod, but I have to put it on the best of list because it deserves to be there just because of that innovative top fill. It does take three different types of batteries, 18650s, 2700s, and 21700s. It was definitely a game changer just because of the way you fill it. We gotta give them props for that. It's firmware upgradable, has a 10 ml capacity, and it's got 90 watts maximum power. Now I do have to warn you though, the customer service on this is still a little suspect, but it's still a great mod. Next up in our single cell regulated category is the Vandivay Pulse slash Pulse X. And the reason I put them both there is because the original Pulse regulated one only takes 2700s. The Pulse X takes 21 700s. There's only a 10 watt difference between the two. They're both great mods. It just depends which battery you prefer to run. Both of them are small and light. They're highly customizable because you can buy different panels for them. That chip in there is a nicely performing chip. The Vandy Vape chip is actually pretty decent. They have an 8 ml capacity and you can get 80 to 90 watts maximum depending on which one you decide to buy. Next up in this category is the Desire Designs Cut. This mod is, is kind of like a sleeper single cell mod, all right? I've been seeing it around now for like under 20 bucks on some of the Chinese websites, and that's, that's really unbelievable considering the build quality that you get with this mod. It's got a real comfortable form factor. It does take three types of batteries, 18650s, 2700s, and 21700. It fires as low as 0.03 ohms. It's got a 7 ml capacity, and it's got 108 watts maximum output. It's just a really solid feeling mod. And like I said, for the price point I've been seeing it at lately, it's a definite buy. It is a power mode only mod. The TC on it isn't the greatest, but man, if you're looking to squonk on a budget and squonk well, you need to look no further than the cut. And the last one we're gonna discuss in this subcategory is the Revenant Delta. Now, when I first reviewed the Revenant Delta, it kind of took me back a little bit because I was upset that they didn't give you the full use of the Omni board. I, it it kind of threw my review off a little bit. I was definitely annoyed by that. But after I've been using it for a while, I have to say, I do like the unique type of bottom fill that it has. It's got push button squonking, which is also unique. It's got a really nice color display. It will also take an 18650, a 2700, or a 21700 battery. It does have a 6.5 ml capacity with a 100 watt maximum output. And I gotta tell you, this mod, since I first reviewed it, actually grew on me a little bit. Now, out of the four that I discussed in this specific subcategory, which one is the best? It pains me to say it, especially after the way Dovpo treated me, but the best of this bunch is definitely the top side. You guys know I keep it 100. I don't let my personal feelings get in the way of anything. And to be honest, I've had no problems with the replacement device or the, the one that I bought. So I gotta, I gotta give them props where they're due. This thing deserves to be number one in this category. Next in line, I would have to go with the Pulse, then the Cut, and then the Delta bringing up the rear. The Delta would have scored a lot higher had they opened up that whole Omni board. I would have definitely placed it a lot higher. But since they're giving you a limited Omni board, I had no choice but to put it in last place. But that doesn't mean it's not a good squonka. All the squonkers in this category are excellent squonkers. The next section we're gonna cover is the dual cell regulated category. And in this category, we'll start off with the Vandy Vape Pulse Dual. Now, this is a really, really small dual cell squonka. It takes dual 18650s. It has a 7 ml capacity. That nice Vandy Vape chipset that we already spoke about. It's highly customizable because you can buy uh, different 
squonk doors with matching drip tips so that's kind of cool i like that and you get 220 watts of maximum power that's kind of cool as well i've definitely been enjoying the form factor and if you buy it in kit form you actually get a really nice rda with it the pulse 2. next up on the list is the desire designs own boy oc rage this one is a little bit of a game changer as well they did something a little different they have a bottom loading separate squonk bottle that, that's separate from the battery compartment. So that was kind of cool. I definitely liked that when it first came out. You get 155 watts maximum output on this thing. It's a dual 18650 mod with a 7 ml capacity. One downside on this thing is it's a little bit on the heavy side. It's a little chunky and it's a little heavy, but it feels like it's built well. And the form factor on it, the shape of it is just fantastic. Next in this subcategory is the Davpo Topside Dual. As its name implies, it's a dual 18650 Squonka, not a dual 21700 Squonka. You know, a lot of people thought because the OG Topside was 21700 that the dual was going to be 21700. It is not. It's got that same innovative top fill design. The bottle is interchangeable with the OG and it has the same 10 ml capacity it's got 200 watts of maximum power it fires down to 0.08 ohms and it's very very big in the hand it's big it's bulbous and it's tall next in this subcategory is the smoant battlestar squonker now this one's a little different because it also has a separate squonking compartment but you do have to open up the battery door in order to access it but the squonking tank is is hard it's not soft it's got a pump action to it where all the internals of the pump are actually inside the hard plastic piece that your juice is stored in it's got a very very unique style of squonking with that pump style it's 200 watts maximum it does legit tc it fires down to 0.05 ohms and it's very slim for a dual battery mod but it's still on the tall side now in this category which one is my favorite I'd have to go with the Vandy Vape Pulse Dual because of its small form factor. I just love that mod. It edged out the Topside Dual. The Topside Dual is just a little too bulbous and a little too tall for me, and that's why it came in second place. I'll sacrifice the top fill for the small size of the Vandy Vape Pulse Dual. Some people may disagree with that, and they may put the the, the topside dual is their number one. It's up to you, but I just prefer a smaller mod, especially in dual 18650 form factor. After those two, I'd have to say that the Desire Designs Rage is my third favorite, and bringing up the rear would be the Smoant Battlestar. The next category in this video is unregulated squonkers. Now, I just wanted to take a couple of seconds to go over what an unregulated squonker is because there's a lot of misinformation out there, okay? An unregulated squonker is normally a squonker where you have protections built in, but you have to build for it. There's no way for you to adjust the wattage or the power output to your coil. You have to build to adjust that power. I've seen other people review mods like this saying, that oh watch out you can blow up you can blow up in your face all the mods that i put in this category that is not true they all have protections built in you know these are not hybrid mechanical mods so just watch who you listen to when you watch certain videos i mean if you see someone tell you that the recurve can blow up in your face stop watching that reviewer because they have no idea what they're talking about so first on the list of our unregulated squonker category would be the Watofo Recurve. The Watofo Recurve, it's a heavy mod, especially for a single battery mod, but it's extremely ergonomic. It will take an 18650, a 2700, a 21700, and a 2650 with the included adapter. It does fire down to 0.08 ohms, and it's got a really nice 8 ml capacity. Build quality on it for Watofo is just really, really nice. They definitely stepped up their game and the thing just feels fantastic in the hand. Next in this category is the Asmodis Pumper 18 or Pumper 21. It comes in both form factors. You can get it in 18650 form factor or 21700 form factor. It's made of mostly stab wood. There's some metal involved. 
It's got a unique tank with a, with a real unique pumping system to it. Oh, that almost looks like a light switch that you pump. It's kind of cool. It's got a 7 ml capacity, plenty of protections built in like short circuit, low voltage, and overheat. If you're in the market for a stab wood, unregulated squonka man, it's hard to find a better deal than this one. It's just a fantastic squonker. And the last one in this category is the Wismic Luxotic. I know this one's a little bit on the old side, believe me, I get it, but the only reason I included it is because I, I'm still using it, that's how much I like it. It's got a 7 ml capacity, it takes a single 18650, it has a circuit board in it, it fires down to 0.08 ohms, and it's got customizable options. You can buy different color bottles, you can buy different colored panels. They even switched the bottle. When the first one came out, it had this hard, crappy bottle. And now they put this like new, nice and soft, silky smooth type of bottle. It's just a really, really small, simple, single 18650 Squanka that just works well. So it deserved to be on the list. In this category, I gotta give the nod to the Recurve. It's just so damn comfortable and it just works well. Next, I would go with the Pumper. If you like stab wood, this is definitely the way to go. It's not expensive for stab wood and the performance on it is fantastic. And bringing up the rear would be the Luxotic. Like I said before, I know it's an older one, but let me tell you something, the small form factor on this one, if you wanna get into squonking, this is definitely a place to start. Just make sure you know what you're doing with your builds. Just remember, everything we went over in this video, we did full deep down reviews for. Make sure you check out the links down below. Make sure you hit one of the thumbnails here and check out some of our other reviews. That's it folks, that's all we got for you today. You keep living that vape life, we're out of here. Deuces.